Hi guys, this is Dave Naranjo from LinkedInConnect.com and today I want to show you a really quick but useful video on how to drive traffic using two sites with each other. Um, the sites are snip.ly and paper.li. Let me show you. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So first let's start with paper.li. Now paper.li a tool that you can use to aggregate various types of content just based on keywords. So it actually creates full websites for you um, almost automatically based on keywords that you plug in. So if you have, uh, let's say you have a target niche audience and they like a certain type of content. Let's say they're, they're marketing managers and you know the marketing managers um, are very interested in um, content about uh, B2B uh, B2B marketing, right? You can create a paper specifically about B2B marketing, and that paper every day will update with new articles pulled from around the web from various sources specifically about B2B marketing. I actually created something like that. So, my site, uh, like I have very, many different sites uh, using paper.li, um, and not all of them have to do with B2B marketing. Some of them are just, you know, sites that I find interesting on um, UFOs and conspiracies or, you know, uh, you know, you know, politics or tutoring for children. So it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what niche it is. You can create a paper.ly website that will pull content for any type of niche that you're interested in or that your, your, your target audience is interested in. But my site, uh, b2bgenius.com, only pulls information about B2B marketing, social media marketing, B2B lead generation. And so every day I have these articles that I can choose from that I can post if I wanted to. I could take an article here, click on it, and I can then take the URL and post it to LinkedIn. And let me show you what happens. So let's say today I want to make a post. I would just go to this uh, website here. I copy their URL. So oh, seven best research sources for B2B marketers. Great. Maybe that's a good, good article to post on LinkedIn. So I already did this, and I want to show you the difference. So I posted this article directly from their website, and when I click on it, or when let, let's say you know my my audience, my 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 followers, and, or my friends on LinkedIn, my first level connections, they see my article, they click in it, they'll come to this site. Right? This site has nothing to do with me personally. This is not my website. This is just a site that uh, has content that has you know, some interest. It has an interesting article on there. So when people click on it, yes, they're, you know, they're seeing my post and my face here on, on LinkedIn. Um, but when they actually click to the site, they, they are lost. You know, they're, they're, they may not come back to my profile. They definitely won't go to my website because of this article. So the traffic is sort of lost out there in hyperspace. But if you use a tool like snip.ly, you can actually capture some of that traffic that's reading your article, and you can actually track that traffic as well. Reading not your article, but the article that you posted. So let me show you. So snip.ly allows you to basically take any content on the web, or almost any content, you put the URL over here, and you create a SNP, it's called. And that SNP essentially is a banner overlay over that article. And you can customize your banner so it can have your picture here, it can have your company's logo here if you have it, it can have your company's name or your, your name. And this can actually link back to your Facebook or to your LinkedIn profile or to your website. It's really up to you. Um, and you can also put a, a headline here, so a call to action. And this is what generates traffic. So let me show you what it looks like actually posted on LinkedIn. So here's the same article, but posted using the, the snip.ly tool. When somebody goes to this article, they not only see the article, but they also see this little ad here from me. And so if they happen to be interested in generating free leads on LinkedIn, they can click here, or they can read the article, or they can do both. But when they click on the link, 
it goes to my website. And usually it's uh, pretty quick. It's a little bit slow today getting to the website. It might be my internet connection or just might be, you know, the, the you know, their, their server issue, but it's okay. It's pretty quick today. And so it goes to my website now and I can actually click the links or I can actually track the links on paper.ly on the dashboard and I can see how much traffic it's drawn. So this is very helpful. So the, the two of these tools used, used in conjunction um, can help you save time. The paper.li can aggregate data for you or aggregate content for you every day. Nothing to do but just grab those articles and then post them. And if you use snip.ly in conjunction with it, you can then actually take some of the, the traffic that's coming to those articles that you posted and take some of that traffic and hopefully bring it to your website. And you know, if you if you know your conversions on your website, if you know that for every hundred visitors you get one lead or one client, then you can start using these tools together to start building a scientific method for getting new business all the time. And you know, you just need to do it consistently. As long as you do things consistently, um, that's how you get results. So just don't post one article and hope that you get a, a client out of it. Do it every day. And uh, the premium bit.li account actually posts for you every day. So it's really helpful. So th then you don't even need to, um, to uh, do it yourself. The site automatically can post to LinkedIn for you. So it's very helpful. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions about uh, how to do this, or if you have any questions about generating leads on LinkedIn, please uh, feel free to stay in touch with me and uh, you know, shoot me an email here on, uh, on YouTube. Or if you, uh, if you have Skype, you can also reach me at b2b.leads, and I'd be happy to speak with you. Thanks again. Bye.